What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to episode 1 of a brand new Football Manager series. Now what we're doing today is we are going to be, we're going to be starting a new one as Arsenal. Now you may remember I was doing a Watford one and basically it, uh, it oh, I messed up. I forgot to record the sound and it was all dodgy and uh, all that stuff. So there's no, uh, there's no Watford one anymore but a lot of people wanted an Arsenal one so that is what we're doing. So we're going to get straight stuck into it. I am live streaming it at the moment so like... Uh, it may seem a bit awkward at points for those in the live stream or vice versa. You may hear me like talking to subscribers or something like that. So if that happens, that'll be why. Just a heads up, by the way, guys, as well, before I get into it. A lot of people always ask me uh, how much is Football Manager. I want to pick it up, blah, blah, blah. I actually have a link where you can get it for £12.99. Uh, and I get like 5% of it as well. So everyone's a winner with that. I will be putting a link to that in the description down below. It will be a bit.ly link. You click on it and then you search Football Manager there. And then you'll be able to find it. Make sure you don't then repeat. Put the link in or anything like that because that will stop me from getting the small percentage of it and it would be really really cool so you guys get a cheap game and i get a tiny bit for it so yeah check that out down below and let's get going with this episode right so we've got the updated leagues here so there's like cardiff's in there crystal palace hull which also means qpr have gone down um if we look in championship we've got uh relegated um qpr reading and wigan it would be quite fun to take over Wigan at some point with this and uh, try and get them back up into the Prem whilst also being in the Europa League. That would be quite cool. But uh, anyway, so we are going to go for Arsenal as originally planned. Um, they haven't made any signings. I think Chelsea will have Schürrle. Um Fergie should have retired and Moyes should be there. I think Mourinho might be there. So uh, a lot of check light. It's done most of the changes. It was the 15th of June. Um... Yeah, Wolves will be League One. It was the 15th of June that this update, uh, that they did it. It was a custom update. So anything that's happened before the 15th of June should be on here. Um, hopefully. Oh, wow. They've put in Chips Keswick as well. Oh. Just makes me feel sad, that. No more Peter Hillwood. Hmm. Right. So we have got some clearing out to do. End of. So we're going to start off with... Some Deadwood. Players I'm not a particular fan of. I'm happy for Sanya to go too, included in that. So we stick that lot up for sale. And offer to clubs for transfer. Reserve squad, there's going to be some disgust at Park Chu Young. I mean, come on, man. Why did we even sign him? They haven't got his loan included. Oh, it's because it was technically this year. Um... We've got Yaya Sanogo though, which is quite cool, I guess. Wellington Silver's back. Uh, we're going to have to send a bunch of players out on loan too. Happy for all of those to go out on loan, actually. Let's have a look at the first team. Who have we got? Miyachi, Campbell. I'm happy for those two. Coquelin. I, I think Ramsey should go out on loan in real life as well. Vito Manoni. Uh, that seems like a good enough loan list. Yep, I should be doing a um, GTA live stream again soon. So we'll make them available for loan. I kind of want to... I might put Chamber on that too. I'd like him to go and get first team football to most with you. So, um... I'll do that again. Uh, there we go. And then I'll offer them... Offer to clubs... We have got some sick potential players in here, really. Like, just that top bit is, well, that there is pretty dirt. Obviously, those two are already at their potential, but they're still insane. Koscielny, they, he's obviously boosted Koscielny a bit, considering how good he was. Uh, before. I'm just going to get a vague idea of, uh, of the starting 11 I'm going to be rocking out. Now, the question is, do I go for... TV number five. I don't think I do. I'm going to stick him up for transfer as well. Because if it was real life, that would be what I'd be doing. Uh, I'm going to go in with Gibbo. Stick Nacho up there on the bench. Vito on the bench as well. Uh, I'll stick Bakary up on the bench too. But that's obviously just until we get him sold. Uh, 
that'll be the uh, the Arteta roller deep line playmaker. Um, oh, it's pretty bad that his thing's that good, and I'm not even not even giving him a look in. El Capitano. <sighs> so there is some very good players here that are interested in signing. Um, obviously the one that stands out the most is Luis Suarez. But then you've also got uh, Leandro Diamal, who's very good and he gets even better. Uh, Fellaini, Lucas Leiva, Akinfaev, Baines. Now, I kind of just need to think um, where I need to strengthen. Right, so there's a few players here I'm particularly interested in. Let's get some scout reports in on them. Uh, I don't need to strengthen there. I could do Centre mid, I could do if strengthen him. Striker, and maybe another centre back. And a right back, actually, ideally. So we'll scout those, um, and then we'll go position by position. Uh, right, right back. Ooh, not really many interested, is there? In fairness, it's not really that many good right backs, which is a little bit worrying. In comparison to Sanya, they reckon he's exactly the same. I get the feeling that Although Sanya's had a little bit of a disappointing season, I don't think I'll be able to find anyone better. Right, centre-backs. Subotic. Arsenal always sign Subotic for this game. It isn't normal. I'm going to put in a few offers here. A few scouts, rather. Some players that I like the look of. Um, not really interested in Bocchetti. Hoof, for some reason. Always seems to be a tank. Colacini is quite good. Right, so if you're watching this on YouTube now, uh, the game crashed and I've just had to go and redo everything we'd already done. I think I've remembered everything, so it should uh, should be good. Is that is that supposed to be the Emirates Cup? Because that isn't even the date of the Emirates Cup for a start. Uh, I think we need more match practice than that. I mean, we will have a game there as well if we... That isn't even how it works either. That's disappointing. Celtic. We'll have a game against Celtic. Could be some banter. Yeah, we'll do Barnet. Good old Barnet. We'll do it away as well. So we'll get paid for it. Cool. He looks pretty good, actually. Rudy Voila. Cool. Two million in compensation. Boosh. Uh, what else did I say I wanted to get? Um, some coaches, that was it. Pick up a couple coaches. Baldini. Uh, yeah, that's he looks insane, actually. That's fine, bargain him down a bit. So I'll have him. Pimienta. The under 19s coaches, they'll jump at the chance of getting these jobs. Now, I am going to be looking very muchly, very muchly, that doesn't even make sense, um, uh, towards um, maximum staff permitted. No, 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 no. I want him as a coach. Yeah. I want to make it very youth orientated. There we go. Um, so, that, yeah, that, that that's my intentions. Now, I'm going to say we're going to go for Champions League qualification because. The, that is, the fact that it would instantly go to Euro Cup qualification is disappointing. Makes me a bit sad that they've all accepted their friendlies. Cool. Let's just skip forward a bit. So I'm going to end this episode there, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, we've started afresh as this Arsenal one. But uh, leave a like if you guys did enjoy this. Let me know what you're thinking of it down below. Subscribe to this channel for more Football Manager videos and loads of other different games. Thanks always for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.